Hello and welcome to another session on triangles and uh, in this session we are going to take up the first very important theorem related to triangles and this is called angle sum property of the triangle. The theorem says the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So this is the basic statement of the angle sum property theorem of a triangle. What is it? Once again, the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So before we take up the proof, it is always good to verify this. So what I have done is I have drawn a triangle ABC. You can see on the screen. And I've also measured the three angles. So you can see at this stage, angle A, which is denoted by alpha, it's 24 degrees and 24.59 degrees. And um, beta is 98.26 degrees and gamma is 57.15 degrees. Now, if you add all three of them, it is coming out to be 180 degrees. So you might ask that it could be just a coincidence that in this case it is summing up to 180 degrees but in fact it is true for any triangles uh, any any sort of triangle whether uh, whatever type we studied in the previous session for example scalene triangle isosceles equilateral or uh, whether it is acute whether it is obtuse or right angle triangle so it holds for anything so let's let's try and change the configuration a bit and see whether whatever we are saying is true yes obviously however much you try and demonstrate through these demonstrations you cannot generalize that every time you will this particular val uh, theorem will be valid so only one instance is good enough to disprove any theorem so hence we have to have a generalized through theorem uh, proof as well which after this validation will take up and we'll try to prove it for all cases you know so so that no one can question that hey this was possible only for one particular configuration of a triangle so we will see a generalized proof as well but before that let us first verify or try to see if there is any case do we really get any triangle where the sum of the three three angles is not 180 degrees so I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the position of a so this is what i'm changing and you can see the angles are changing all the three angles are changing but the sum remains the same same is the case with b if i change the position of b you can see the sum is again 180 though the three individual angles are changing and finally i can change c as well right so that you can see that it is right now it is an obtuse triangle guys if you can see is an obtuse triangle why because one of the angles is more than more than 90 degree we can go for acute angle triangle as well so this is acute angle triangle all the three angles are less than 90 degrees so this is acute angle as well so let me show you yeah. now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simulate the process that is i will let it run on its own and you keep an eye over the three angles as well as its sum and uh, let's try to find out if there is any case where you know you get less than 180 degrees so so far you have seen now the triangles are you know the triangle is changing its position on its own angles are changing and uh, we are not getting any such position where um the angle is or the total sum is not 180 degrees so I'll let it run for a few more moments so it will keep on changing its position right so it is automatically moving the configuration is changing slowly and in no case we are seeing that there is less than 180 degrees or more than 180 degrees case every triangle the sum is 180 degree all the time right this is what i wanted to first validate so in this session uh, we learned that or we validated the particular theorem that is angle sum property of a triangle which says that the sum of the three uh, angles of a triangle will be 180 degrees always and we have verified it now it's time to prove this so in the previous part of the video we saw the validation of the given theorem 
and the theorem was sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree which is also called angle sum property of a triangle we saw that in the software that in different configuration of the triangle the the sum of the three angles was in indeed 180 degrees but then uh, just few examples cannot generalize the theorem or we cannot prove it for all the cases so hence we must have a generalized proof and that's what we are going to do so first of all learn the theorem the theorem says sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees and we have to find out or we have to basically prove that it is true for any triangle so what i've done is i've drawn a triangle abc okay so let me give you the proof so what is given uh, a triangle abc is given right and what is to prove to prove is angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degrees okay now you can see in the diagram i have given them a numeral identities right so one two three four five like that so you can see which angle is what and to prove this i am doing a construction i am doing a construction what is that a line l parallel to bc is drawn okay i have done this so i have drawn drawn this line parallel to bc how is that going to help me let's see now since l is parallel to bc i can say what angle 5 is equal to angle 2 right why is this this is because of alternate interior angles so you learned in the previous uh, lines and angles chapter that if two lines are parallel then uh, and uh, ab is transversal in this case so angle 5 will be equal to angle 2 alternate interior angles also angle 4 is equal to angle 3 right same reason alternate interior angles now we have angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees why sum of angles on a line angles on a point in this case the point is a on one side of the line one side of the line l right in this case we have seen this in the previous chapter in lines and angles chapter that if you have a line and if you have a point then on one side all the angles on that point uh, will be summing up to 180 degrees so angle 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 180 degrees isn't it otherwise you can also see like say like that so let's say this is right so 1 plus 4 let's say this is angle 1 plus 4 angle 1 and angle 4 and this is angle 5 let's say so i am drawing in another view right so hence these two angles now are forming linear pair and linear pair are always 180 degrees so any of these reasoning both are same actually so 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 180 degrees and we now know that 1 is angle 4 is angle 3 so i can write and angle 5 is angle 2 is 180 degrees right so let this be 1 and this be 2 so you can say from 1 and 2 right therefore angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degrees and hence proved right so the construction of parallel line to bc was really helpful isn't it so that's how you prove that the sum of um three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees actually you can generalize it and i'll give you the generalized version as well so generalized version is if there is a n-sided polygon n-sided polygon okay so 
n is 4 then it, be, it becomes quadrilateral n is 5 it becomes pentagon n is 6 becomes hexagon so on and so forth so if there is a n n sided polygon then sum of all angles of the given polygon now when i say all angles i mean interior angles there could be exterior angles also we will see afterwards but al always remember sum of all angles of the given polygon is given by nothing but n minus 2 into 180 degrees okay this is the formula n minus 2 into 180 degrees you can check for triangle for triangles n is 3 3 sides so 3 so 3 minus 2 into 180 degrees which is simply 180 degrees now you can guess for quadrilaterals angle sum property of quadrilateral will be nothing but 4 minus 2 into 180 degrees which is 360 degrees so sum of all the four angles of a quadrilateral 1 2 3 and this 4 so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is 180 degrees okay similarly pentagon pentagon is how much for pentagon will be it will be 5 minus 2 into 180 degrees so you now know what is it 540 degrees similarly for hexagon it will be 720 degrees and so on and so forth so this is a generalized form and you can prove this if you know the triangle sum or angle sum property of a triangle right so you can see you can draw a, draw a line diagonal like that for quadrilateral let's say so both there are two triangles so two triangles interior angle is 180 180 each so it will become 360 if there was a polygon a pentagon then there will be three triangles and hence it will be three times 180 like that hmm? so this is how you can prove also right so this is an information that if there are n, there is an n-sided polygon then sum of all angles of the given polygon will be n minus 2 into 180 degrees okay or many times this is written as 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees correct so whichever um uh, suits you you can remember that right so this is much easier to remember n minus 2 times 180 degrees okay